swinging patterns of clubs. I think what happens is a lot of people see people doing different patterns online and they get confused about what they're seeing. They, they think that it's very complicated. I'm going to try to break this down and make it as simple as possible to explain really what's going on when you see all these different patterns that people are doing. And hopefully this will simplify it so that you can learn your own patterns and create your own a little bit easier. I'm first going to say, and I've said it on a number of other DVDs or, excuse me, um, uh, videos, but there's really only so many ways you can move. I've had been criticized in the past that that's not the right way to swing clubs. This is the right way to swing clubs. It's like swinging a baseball bat. Talk to four different coaches. They're all going to tell you a different way to grip the bat, different way to swing, distance between the hands, how heavy a bat to use. It goes on and on. I will say this, there's only three things that I know of that you're going to move really concentrate on as far as arm movements are concerned when you're swinging the clubs. You're either going to bend at your wrist, you're going to bend at your elbow, and you're going to bend at your shoulder. I don't know of any other way that you can. Now, after we get through basics of swinging clubs, then we can move on to incorporating other parts of our body. But in the very, very beginning, you're either going to move your wrist, you're going to move your elbow, or you're going to move your arm. When you're watching people online swinging clubs and they're talking about all these different complicated movements, there really aren't that many movements, nor are there that many ways to swing the club. You've got different size clubs, and the size of the club and how strong you are depends upon how well you can swing them and or how fast you can swing them and how long you can swing them. So, if you're swinging very heavy or large clubs, you're not going to be able to do wrist movements like you can with a lighter pair of clubs. If you take one club away and learn with just a simple club, after you've learned the one movement, you switch to your other hand. So if you want to learn easily, start with one club and one hand. You might start out and bring the club around and learn that way. You might follow my method and start with the club close into the body, drop it down, open the shoulder, push the club out, and drop it down. Now, both of those movements I just did, starting up here or starting in close, they're the same movements. There isn't any different. We're just extending the range of motion. So when I first start off like this and push the club out, as I begin to get better and more fluid, it now takes on or resembles this motion that you see other people learning or teaching. There's nothing wrong with either way. It's just a different method of doing it. We consider ourselves just sources. I'm not saying that my way is right or better or more correct. It's just the way that I find, particularly for people learning that are new inside their home, Many people can't swing the club in a large arc like this inside their house. You'll bang the ceiling if you have long clubs or if your ceiling's too. So what I do is I like to teach people this way and it just makes it easier for me to be able to share that information. If you want to start off like this and hold your hand up high and swing the club, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, let's look at the movement from the side position. If you want to start off with it here, come to this position, it's more of a British style way of learning how to do this, there's fine. I just happen to teach people this way, close in, to help them protect the shoulder a little better, and then as they get better, I then suggest that they move the club out and fully extend their arms. Now, you can either move your elbows together, I may have to turn sideways because I'm limited movement, movement wise here in the view of the camera. So. I can do it with my elbows, I can do the movements with my wrists, with my elbows, or with my hand, arms. That's all you can do. Now you can do combinations, which would be an elbow movement with a full sweep of the arm movement, like this. That is, the right arm is locked at the elbow, and the, so the left arm is moving at the shoulder, and the right arm it's just moving at the elbow. 
We could do with the in the opposite way, like this. But they're the same movements. You're going in the same direction. Now you can go in opposite directions. So here we are going opposite directions with the elbows. I'm passing one arm of the right club over the left for the first time, and the left hand over the right the second time to balance out the movement. But I can also go in the same direction, opposite directions, inward and out, down, and then out. So you're either going to go left to right, right to left, same movement for opposite movements. There isn't anything else. So if you look at a movement like this, it looks complicated to you at first. But is it really complicated? No. I'm simply going like this, and I'm alternating it with this, with the other side. If I did them together, I could go like this, or I can add a little tweak with my right hand, with my right and my left hand, or with my left hand. You get the idea. All you're doing is just mixing things up, changing the directions, working from the elbow more predominantly than the shoulder, or more with the shoulder, or more with the wrist. So it's wrist, elbow, or shoulder. There isn't anything else. I'll give you a couple more examples. You'll see people taking two clubs together, going around their head, and changing the direction that they're facing, that is. I'm facing left, now I'm facing right. Bending at the elbow, extending at the shoulder. Now there's a variation you can do where you bring the clubs up and come back down this way, where you're passing this left hand and dropping, passing the right hand and dropping. So it looks like this. When you see people adding this to the routine, it looks complicated, but it really, it really is not. And when you see them doing it, oftentimes with shorter clubs, it even seems more complicated because they're going so fast, it's hard for your mind to pick up the movement. But it's really not. So you're either going here, dropping them down, turning away, and pushing them out, or you're pulling them up, bringing them dropping in this way. So I hope that helps explain a couple of the movements. I'll do another video on different variations. But start thinking about when you're watching. Watch half the body, not both the arms. Watch what each arm is doing, and you'll see they're either bending at the, bending at the elbow, the shoulder, or the wrist. There isn't any other way to move the clubs. They're either adding little tweaks and turns, they're either going the same direction, opposite directions, they're going together in syncopation, or, or alternating. I hope that's helpful.